hi guys uh, today i come up with a new concept sir uh, um, to how to add a cmss uh, to our projects so you may cmss is an x level of uh, application boom that uh, you can manage your content by using uh, some cms third party here anyways we are uh, developing a dot net application so imbroco is uh, most dependency with the dot net application so from the scratch they are providing you the cms for a uh, dot net applications so um, i uh, uh, just uh, installed a cms uh, now uh, will uh, i'll show you like uh, how how i done that i just um, got my i got uh, my uh, installation from the package manager can you install package member ko css you will uh, get all the dependency and uh, whatever the project source everything it will be uh, added in your project i just created on empty project and i just installed it here so before going to that i will go through one round of uh, cms website this is a umbro website all the tutorial trainings uh, they are providing for uh, developers so you can go and uh, learn from that so okay fine Mm, so I don't want to talk much about now. So let me go and create the application first. So let you show what exactly the CMS is doing in uh, your application. Okay, so let me close it, and I will go and run my application. let's my application is building so this is the project structure and the app plugins okay just ask them okay no problem there is any no debug mode is enabled i just use control f5 to build a without up okay before that um, we'll see here my configurations my app plugins every step is added here so this is what the all the handlers everything it's a package of application that we <coughs> provided by umbraco only so you no need to worry about all the steps to add manually just install the package you, it will re resolve all your dependency reference everything and it will build your basic application too so let me go my application is running mm, yeah okay now it's showing uh, the installation window so you just enter here your name email id and password to make sure uh, things is working fine so let me go and fill uh, my name and my, my email id and uh, i just give my uh, uh, password something Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I just to go for a customize mode. What is a database? SQL Server. Okay, fine. Great. No need to need to configure anything. Then you can simply click button. Continue to next box. Okay. I don't install the starter website. Okay, it's installing my. Uh, starter websites uh, so with the uh, help how to uh, build a solid foundation so if you don't want you can skip uh, your uh, no need to and you can uh, develop the scratch application i just want to you to show the demo how the things is going to work here so that is what the topics are going to do uh, so let's uh, it's let's load and install the basic uh, steps over here okay i don't want to load that uh, page actually because it's uh, trying to install the new sql server i don't want that so i will go and select my existing server under database name anyways i have a database uh, okay so so it asking for a server and database name so let me go and uh, create one database called cms something Okay, I'm going to create a database called CMS. Mm, okay, this is my server. 
I just mentioned here my server is a hacker database name is a CMS mm, okay user integrated okay fine continue validating let let's uh, validate my database yep I got uh, my CMS uh, website uh, template so I will go and select my second template it's installing my second template broco was installed more than okay this is a tips and trips that provided by um, broco for the developer you can see this while installing the stuffs so it will build me all the CMS and it will load in your proj project you no need to worry if uh, letter part you need uh, need uh, some kind of connectivity to check the stuffs so all the source code everything you can manage in your way so they are providing umbroco.tv to the high level tutorials that you can go and see so now uh, the umbroco is uh, using uh, 165 countries in 2015 yeah it's really booming so even a lot more uh, people are trying to do with this because a uh, small uh, kind of uh, small our uh, startup companies uh, they want uh, to be the application developer like this to manage their content regularly to uh, okay so let's uh, things will be installed we'll wait for a moment okay finally my broco is uh, installed here fine i got my uh, login credential and my username password with that i can manage here you can see all the section like how to manage the content how to add the media so this is a developer section if you go here you can so everything is uh, installed here you can add your not over that click to choose a medium it's okay this is a content this is a home layout if you go home layout getting started about a space so all the basic uh, CMS content is built here now you can go and uh, develop your uh, CMS uh, by uh, using this So this is a URL pattern umbroco slash that you have to go and type and get the login stuffs. Okay, so getting started page it will be like text response you start kit umbroco social banners about us so all the basics stuffs that you need to build everything is <coughs> formatted here. So let me go and uh, see in live. Okay let me go and uh, preview this page this is my preview ID this is how my page is going to look so I can go and uh, preview or I can modify and if I do the save and publish it will be saving my existing code oops uh, I got some issue configuration the version of MEC 5.2.30 okay there is some issue with my uh, code level uh, some issue in a web config that I can fix so this is a way to install your uh, CMS content in your application so uh, you can manage all the home in under the home getting started page installation module something at all you can remove the several steps and these are new sections if you go new section in the home uh, okay no problem I will go on the deep about this uh, in a future studio this is a way to install and you have to modify your content as per the developer knowledge you have the option to add a media files so some macros a lot of stuffs are there 
it is not only the adding the content <coughs> a lot of uh, dynamic uh, how to pull the dynamic uh, or how to get the uh, dynamic under to display in umbrico also we have the steps to identify easily here so it's very helpful uh, steps that uh, straight forward answer that would they will provide to reduce your developer work suppose you added some content uh, somewhere here uh, suppose if you go here so uh, that uh, content uh, if you want to modify anywhere that you can do by simple drag and drop and um, you can publish it will be works so okay no problem from uh, the next video session i will go deep about the umbraco and how to de start developing the umbraco start using umbraco thanks for watching the video guys